I was told uh, one day that I would not live at home anymore and that I was going to live, I was told temporarily, with another family. I took my belongings with me and went to San Diego. Uh, I like to play, I said he wasn't a very cerebral person, I was quite shy, I, uh, I started even stuttering and so on, I mean partly it had to do with nervousness. And Mr. Barr, who I remember liking, he wasn't the kind of person I think I would have spoken to um, about something very private easily and also my timidity didn't help. But with Mrs. Brow, I think I had a um, slightly different relationship. A child to an adult was a very comfortable one. But again, I don't think I confided in her. I, I, I really kept things to myself. I also remember, and I, I don't think I'm uh, idealizing things, that I immediately got along very well with everybody. And that I felt very comfortable uh, in, uh, in a very short time. I remember I was on the little green bicycle and I fell and I hurt myself and my knee was bleeding and there was a German officer standing across the, uh, the, the square and he saw me and he walked over to me he was in uniform and I remember I was frightened, frightened I, I, I saw sort of death coming to me and I was scared and he came over to me and he looked at me and he asked me where I lived and uh, he picked me in his arm and he put his bicycle on the little, it was a small bicycle on his shoulder and he took me to the house and I was sure that something dreadful was going to happen and all he did was to deliver me and he told the maid, uh, your little boy fell. To me, a German soldier as a child was the incarnation of the devil himself. And again, you know, he might have been just a nice guy. The moment the liberation came, I remember Mr. Brown saying to me, Dorénavant, tu t'appelleras de nouveau Sapkaru. From now on, you'll be Sapkaru again. My, um, and my father didn't come back uh, for a long time. He was one of the last persons to come back from, uh, from the camps. Then we went back home and lived, uh, my brother and I, with my father. And in the beginning, of course, there was still the hope that my mother would come back. Uh, and uh, they were very young, you know, my mother was about uh, 29, 30, I think, at the time through the Red Cross or some organization. They were able to pinpoint pretty closely when she died. All the people in that particular camp or that barrack died. When I arrived in Canada, then things changed for the better. You know, it was a new life. I turned the page. The thing is, it's, it's a story that happened so many times. Uh, you know, it, uh, to so many people.